Well, good evening. This is Pastor Rob, and I'd like to do a YouTube devotion for this uh, Tuesday, uh, May 5th. I had to remember what day it was. And uh, I'm going to read a portion of Ezekiel 47. And in Ezekiel 47, really from verses 1 through uh, 12, we read about this, this water that begins in the sanctuary of the end-time temple, the vision of the temple that Ezekiel is given, and uh, it flows out towards the uh, what's now the Dead Sea. And that river, uh, that I'm sorry, that trickle becomes a river. And we read this about this, this river. And I'm starting at, um, I'm going to start at verse 3, okay? Ezekiel 47, verse 3. Uh, going on eastward with a measuring line, line in his hand, the man, that, that's the angel that's uh, working with, with Ezekiel, measuring a thousand cubits, and then led me through the water, and it was ankle deep. Again, he measured a thousand, and led me through the water, and it was knee deep. Again, he measured a thousand, and he led me through the water, and it was waist deep. Again, he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass through, for the water had risen. It was deep enough to swim in, a river that could not be passed through. And he said to me, Son of man, have you seen this? Then he led me back to the bank of the river. As I went back, I saw on the bank of the river, <coughs> excuse me, very many trees, on the one side and on the other. And he said to me, this water flows toward the eastern region and goes down into the Arabah and enters the sea. That's the Dead Sea. When the water flows into the sea, the water will become fresh. And wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live. And there will be very many fish. For this water goes there that the waters in the sea may become fresh so everything will live where the river goes. And I just want to stop there. What is that river? Well, actually, I believe, personally, that that river has two meanings, both of which are true, obviously. The first meaning is literal, and that is that at some point, perhaps in a millennial reign, a new temple will be built, and there will be a river that flows from the temple into the Dead Sea. And this will be a supernatural river that will cause what is dead to live. However, what's also true is that the river, and whenever we look at visions that speak of, of rivers or water, very often that, that um, image of a river or water is an image of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit goes forth from the sanctuary to give life to the dead, to bring uh, refreshing to the dry. And that's really where I want us to focus just for a moment. The Holy Spirit is here for you and for me. When Jesus ascended into heaven, he received from his Father the Holy Spirit to be poured out on his people. And the Holy Spirit's purpose is to glorify Jesus and to bring alive that which is dead, to cause those who are dry to be fruitful. And my question to you is this. Do you have the Holy Spirit? Are there dry areas in your life where you need to be made alive, where you need to be refreshed. The good news for you is that the Holy Spirit is here to be, to be received. Jesus wants to pour the Holy Spirit into our lives so that we might be alive to Him, alive to the Father, and alive in His joy. Do you know He wants to give us joy? He says in John uh, 17, as he prays to the Father, 
He wants us to have joy. In John uh, 16, I believe, he speaks of praying, and he wants us to ask so that our joy may be complete. Jesus wants us to have a joy, a joy inexpressible, a joy that the world cannot give or take away. And that joy comes to us as God himself, by the Holy Spirit, lives within us. So, let me just ask you, are you dry? Do you feel dead inside? Do you feel like, like you're, you're just walking around like a zombie? The good news is that God has a solution for that. He's called the Holy Spirit. He's a person. He is God, the Holy Spirit, who will come into us, live in us, and lead us, and give us what we need each and every day to fulfill the mission that God has for us, but also to live in us every day so that we can walk in the joy of salvation, in a living hope, no matter what the circumstances lie before us. So, the promise of the Holy Spirit, we find throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament, and Jesus wants to pour the Holy Spirit into us. And maybe, maybe, maybe you will say, well, I already have the Holy Spirit. That's true. If you're a believer, you have the Holy Spirit. But there's more. Notice that, that the river is a trickle, and then ankle deep, and then waist deep, and then becomes this great river that no one can cross, that you can swim in. Notice, too, in the book of Acts and other places, there's a, a refreshing of the Holy Spirit that comes. It's not a one-time deal. The Holy Spirit needs to refresh us. Ask. If, you need, if you're dry and you need to be made alive, ask. And there may be things in your life that need to come out. There, there may be blockages there that need to be removed. There may be things we need to repent of. Ask, do you know that throughout Scripture we're told that very often we need to cooperate with the Holy Spirit? Yes, God acts sovereignly. But as He acts, He calls us to do our part as well. He may be calling you to change how you think, to put away certain distractions, to repent of certain ways that you've been acting or speaking. Do it. Humble yourself before God. That the Holy Spirit may enter in and give you refreshing as you turn to Christ, who is the baptizer in the Holy Spirit. If you're dry, Jesus will make you alive in the Spirit. Ask, and you will receive. Let's pray. Father, I thank you that you have poured out your Holy Spirit. I pray, Lord, that wherever we're dry, that you would come in by your Holy Spirit and make us alive and new so that we may have the joy of salvation, the living hope, that we may walk in this life no matter what the circumstances with a sure and certain expectation of good and eternal life, and that we may walk in the love of the Holy Spirit and be, a, be a, 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 a person who brings your grace into the lives of others. And we ask this in Jesus' name, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. All right, God bless you.